I'm Priscilla, I'm 20 years old and I want a new haircut. Okay, and do you want to turn for you and the rest of the world and show what you have now? Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, first thing to do is to pin up her hair and put on protection. Because I'm going to cut it uh, a lot shorter, I use paper crepe to prevent hairs from falling into her clothes. And the first line I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut standing. So that will be different. And now I can see two lines. I have two short lines, so a bit like a bob, and a longer layer. Check out the neckline. Okay, I know where I want to go. So now you watch and see what I'm doing. Pin up the half of her hair. So I just go over the skull bone, take away the first layer, and I cut it in two layers. Cut it standing because now I can see the line more clear. And it's not hair to donate. Just set out my first line in dry hair. It will be a very blunt line. And now I work the line out to the front. What I do now is I take a horizontal line and not working on the chin line. So that makes this hairstyle more trendy. Start at the center line, watch through the hair. And when you're standing you can see the line more clearly. When I'm sitting I'm looking up to it and now I can look under it. Minor corrections to the line. And I think she will feel how light it feels now. Because there's a lot of hair off. That's I with wet hair, don't wash it because I want to see what the follicles of the hair are and I can see the structure of the hair and when I don't know what the structure is, how can I cut that perfect line? Pin up the hair. Work the hair down in a straight line and correct this first line. And this la layer is a little bit longer, it takes about a half centimeter. The under layer is there and this is the layer I'm going to work on. And I get more length by using a skull 
to create the length because she has a wave in it and the skull lines make more length when I put it on, on the skull because then I have to wave also and that gives me more length. And the angle to work in is uh, for me is difficult because I don't have somebody who makes the video, so I have to video myself. And to show you what I can do, I have to get into angles you don't want to know how I do it. But that makes it difficult. Because otherwise, I would sit in your angle of the in the angle where the, the camera is, and now I'm sitting on, at the side of it. Last layer, lay it on top. Hold my comb flat. And now you see that the sides are coming into this hairstyle. Because this was the first layer and now he lays into the style. Taking the hair straight down. I'm thinking about a cool color for her hairstyle because I think that suits her better than this golden one. I don't want to get into dark shades because that I find too early because we're still in summer here in Holland. So we light her hair up in a cool color. Most hair lays on her right side over to the left side. And then you see what I don't want and when somebody's not cut well, you see this ends, when she would go swimming, this ends are the same as on the other side, but when she goes swimming, they lay on this side, a little bit strange. So when you pull it over the right side, over to the left side, you can see that part of the hair and that you cut off. There's not much hair, so you don't have to be worried, but that you take off. And create also a blunt line at the back. Small hair, I shave off. Not with a razor knife, you can do that afterwards because it irritates the skin when you have to color. So don't do it with a razor knife. What I do is I take the fontanelle line and I the tip of the fontanelle, I lay the hairs aside because we want blunt lines and that we also create at the front. Same on doing this side, watch where our lines are, lay it aside. Now I'm going to create a blunt pony line. This opens her face, and she has a wonderful face, wonderful, lovely eyes. So that's what I like to see about her. Let it fall in natural lines, and not take it up and put some length off. Just leave it this way. Minor curly hair at the sides. And this is my hairstyle for her, and I'm going to color it. I 
I put some polar, color protection on. And what I'm going to start is on top of her hair in the natural fall. And what I made is uh, 12 uh, zero S, that's a highlight, and I put some S tone in it and a deep conditioner because I want a cold color. And by putting a deep conditioner, I stay in a wonderful condition of the hair. First set out the outgrow. After about 20 minutes, I put it through the length. And then I take about uh, 25 minutes with heat. And she's ready. And then we're going to make some trendy color into the hair to get a contrast. Take there about a centimeter for a centimeter. Lay it on the layer you just did. Work till there's no hair left. And then lay it over and go to the other side. Ready. Okay. Now we close it up. I'm going to use heat on this. So I take about 20-25 minutes. Watch what, where we are. And then take the rest into the ends of her hair. And then her color is ready and we're back. Okay, this is the wet result of the first color. And now I'm going to dry the front because that's important. Otherwise I can't make a special tone into it. And I want to create something special in it because otherwise it's too flat. Okay, now I part her hair. Is this beside? Okay, now I'm going to color a line into her hair. And I want yeah, a dramatic line into her hair, something special. So that's why I use uh, wait, 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 wait. color dynamics. And that's from Affinage. And this wonderful product gives a wonderful effect on the hair and will go out of the hair in about uh, 6 till 10 wash times and it will lighten so you don't see it that hard. My first for it. Start at a very small beginning. This has to stay in for 50 minutes and then rinsed out and you rinse it out with a lot of water otherwise the colors get into the, the blonde tones and I don't want that to happen. So in 50 minutes we rinse it out. Okay, we're back and now we're going to dry it and you see the trend color into her hair. Again with a medium brush I do the front. of uh, Lanza, I think is the most wonderful product Lanza has. I want to create a lot of movement into the hair, so... And you see by the colors, the wonderful products I use, the, the colors are so good for the hair. All the dry is off. Okay, this is my new hairstyle for her.
Okay, you may turn for you and the rest of the world and show the end result of your hairstyle. Thank you very much. Thank you.